YouTubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. We got the fuzz, because he was so butthurt about be not being introduced last time. Yeah. Okay. Got uh, Heist Almighty, the Sith. Gonna take a look at a beer that Heist Almighty brought back from Nova Scotia. We're gonna take a look at Sea Level Brewing's Crossing Muddy Waters Brown Ale. Mm -hmm. Five, crystal Wines in Bedford? Crystal Wines is a Crystal Wine Pocket? Or? No, I think it's just Crystal now. Okay. 5.5% um, ABV. Is no, it a what? No, it's not a hemp. That's a hop. Okay, close. The hemp's and hops are actually related. All right. Although you're not going to get, get, not gonna get high off of hops. Should have some glass out. Actually, it's my. Uh, there is no time! Nine! Oh, that was not very tasty. Yeah. Oh, you should be fine with this. Oh, that, that does look tasty. It does look yeah. yummy. I might be losing some of that to the uh, camera nose. In that case, I'll just take a little camera nose. And you can have the rest. Yeah. Real dark beer. Uh, not that much head, but it's very uh, bubbly head. Very dark brown. Yeah. Really dark. Oh, wow. really chocolate. Really like chocolate. To that. It's definitely a brown ale, but you can tell that that's really dark. Yeah. Um, I got a little whiff of something off of that one, but. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Take a look. Let's cut right that. Let's cut right to the smell because this is amazing. This is like caramel and biscuits Ooh. and chocolate. Wow. This is, this is a meal. Oh. It smells like a meal. I hate the coffee in there. Everything dark is happening in this. And it's it's like. It's like, it's like everything dark had sex no, and had babies. It's just like, fruity is, well, we used a little bit of fruity. You're calling fruity. me weird? You guys call me weird on that comment? I Sexy see chocolate you. babies. <laughs> and the whole room goes silent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Like, uh, nice, oh, that's pretty good. That's nice. Wow. A little bit of tartness to it. Yeah. But not a whole lot. Other than that, it's got this nice, oh. big, bready, biscuity chocolate and, and caramel. I'm loving that coffee aftertaste. I'm, I'm going to go out and so. I'm going to go out and limit saying that it tastes, or it, it smelled better than it tastes. But it does taste very good. But it smelled phenomenal. It's yes, it smelled phenomenal. The taste-wise, it's almost like a lighter version of Pickering's Mass Band's best friend. There's some coffee in here. There's a little bit of toffee, uh, a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the brown stuff is really coming through on this one. I'm just getting a little smoke. Yeah, yeah a little. Right at the very, very end. Mm. Yeah, just in the back of my tongue a little bit. Yeah. Like the uh, yeah. campfire smoke. Yeah, like yeah, the, like the, uh, some kind of wood smoke. Yeah. Like, like the uh, like the barley was just just roasted just a little bit. Too much. A little bit smoky. I wouldn't say too much, but just like a little bit of open flame roasting. That's really good. This is very interesting. Do you want to take a break with this one or do I call it? No, let's call it. Let's call it. Let's get this done. I'm going to give that a 4.25. What do you think? 375. 375? Yeah. 375. 375. Four. I guess I like it the best. <laughs> um, i got to say that when it comes to brown ales, there's not many that really reach that caliber. No, this yeah, is dying. I'm not really a big fan of browns. Like Nuki Brown, meh. This really delicious. I have poo pooed on a lot of browns in my day. And um, other than maybe that, um, what was that, Shiretown? Other than Shiretown was fantastic. Other than Shiretown, I can't think of one that tastes better than this. Very much so. I like it. The, the thing I don't like about this is the very, very aftertaste. No, the smoke? Yeah. yeah. The, the aftertaste, like that. that's, what, that's what killed, that, that's what brought it down from a, from a 4 to a 3.7. Fair enough. Oh, see, yeah, I can. <clears throat> I can linger at that, that coffee because I drink so much coffee. Yeah, yeah, you can, I can yes. really focus in on the flavor. Of You're very tribal oriented. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you like coffee. Uh, I really, you really like coffee, Mr. Jalen Luce himself. Uh, I gotta say though, maybe uh, we need some more East Coast Browns because of all the ones that I've had, the uh, Maritimes. The ones from this area are excellent. The Maritimes Microbrews Browns have definitely been. Definitely my favorite. Top shelf? Yeah. yeah. But sometimes, like, doesn't really make a brown. No, as far as I know, they don't. They really should. Sure. And I don't think Heller uh, <laughs> or Puckett's do either. Um, uh, or people yeah, around here. Or Harrison, <laughs> really. Because every uh, every brown we've had from America has been great. Aren't you planning on having a brown this week? Oh, yeah. I was just going to cost No, that was a black IPA. You might like that, too. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. Did you give a rating? Uh, I did. I gave it as a uh, four because I enjoyed it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Maxwell Scar's beer review of Crossing Muddy Waters Brown Ale from Sea Level Brewing. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you folks later. Jazz. Yes.